So today we're going to go to the Blue Mosque. But it is nighttime, so I'll just wait. I don't want to wait. Okay, that's better. Let's go. That's a little too far. Hold on, let me see it again. That's better. Easy way to travel, you know? And now a cab driver won't try to charge you like 300 lira just to get here from a mile away. I didn't pay that. We're about to walk into the Blue Mosque. And I have wanted to go to the Blue Mosque since I saw it in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Do you guys remember that scene? Here, I'll play that scene real quick. That was that mustard! <laughs> that was crazy, man. I didn't know Jedi were Muslim. I'm walking the wrong way. Pakistan. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I don't want to buy a carpet. I don't think I can fit it into my my backpack. Why would I just buy a, randomly buy a carpet? Like, I understand, like, you want to buy a souvenir or something? It's like, yo, do you want to buy a full-size rug? It's pretty surreal in here, man. This is, like, really, really, really old. And I'm embarrassed. I don't really know too much about this. And Wikipedia is blocked in Turkey. Not a good thing, man. A piece of history up there says that it took 77 years to finish building this masjid. But you can't spend five minutes to read namaz. Sad. It's kind of like intense being here. And the cool thing about it is it's not like a tourist trap. Like aside from that guy who's trying to sell me a carpet, no one's, they don't really charge you for anything. You just walk in, you get to see everything. That main area of the mosque right now, unfortunately, is closed because they're doing renovations. But aside from that, man, it's, mashallah, pretty amazing. Definitely worth a visit. Still too far. Hold on. All right, that's better. But I feel like I can just be a little closer. Hold on. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna get a tour guide to go inside. That's an ancient excavation yeah. site where they uh, found uh, rare Pokemon way back in the day. That's what I heard. downstairs now my wife keeps saying like oh why is this so slippery because two three thousand years ago they didn't really think people were wearing thongs these guys these guys want to record me for their school project but i'm going to record them as well so this is like recording inception they had a white girl embassy here in turkey stephanie's going to be so happy don't show your leg show your right i really wanted to see some ankle Oh, that was good. Welcome to the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. Listen, if you're coming here by yourself, it's very affordable. If you're coming here with your wife, you might as well take a loan out at this point. This guy looks like if Santa Claus gave up giving presents and just became a hipster. Next, he's gonna play Kuch Kuch Hota Hai from Shah Rukh Khan's movie. Go! <laughs> Every time he plays that, he gets a new wife. He's already on wife number 10. <laughs> There's so many different shops here. Like, here's one shop for if you're a major douchebag. So you can buy, you can buy skin tight t-shirts and douchebag cologne. Here we have some pimp canes from 500 BC. See, pimps care about quality. When it comes to canes, not hoes. Swords right here. Where you use to perform ancient circumcisions on kids who didn't listen to their parents on who the hell they should marry. This is a Desi mother's dream right here. So many Jutian uh, whoop their kids' asses. So we just got out with the Grand Bazaar, and the more and more I stay in Turkey, the, there's a few things that I realized. Number one, uh, Turkey is more or less like India, Pakistan, Desi countries, except for two things. Number one, it's very clean here. People don't litter, which is great. And also, number two, people here actually stop 
at red lights, which is always fantastic. But the thing that's really the same is uh, the merchants here. Seriously, these guys convince you of anything. Like I went to the Grand Bazaar, I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I ended up buying two flutes. I don't even know how to play one flute. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do with them. God damn, I'm so stupid.